Autobiography of Yogi is the best-selling autobiography of all time. Not just spiritual autobiography, but biography. That's an incredible statement, but just a Quite recently in Italy, in Italy, it was still listed as the number one bestseller in parts of Italy. And uh, when it first came out, publishers are not eager to publish things that haven't proved themselves. And his talk of miracles and so on, it made it very difficult to find a publisher for it. But that book has changed more lives. I've met so many people. I know sometimes in front of an audience I will ask people, how many people here have read the autobiography? About 90% raise their hands. It is a book that has made enormous impact, and not just in America, but throughout the world. The uh, thrill of that book, I must have read it 50 times. <clears throat> it still thrills me. It, I said to Master, <clears throat> when I met him, he said, how did you like my book? And I said, it was the most thrilling experience of my life. And that is what it is. I also said, this to my discredit, sir, I found a couple of, uh, of split infinitives in the book. And uh, ever since then, he jested with me and called me split infinitive. But uh, it was beautifully written. And Tara was the one who edited that book. <clears throat> but I told him that, wanting to give him a further incentive to want me to, to want to accept me, because I was a writer, and I thought maybe that would be useful to him. Anyway, that wasn't why he, why he accepted me. It was for my deep, deep longing. Master said when I told him how much it had meant to me, he said, I put my vibrations into that book. I didn't know what he meant, but it's certainly true. You know, when uh, uh, Evans Wentz wrote the book, The Best Great Yoli, uh, Yogi, Milarapa, and uh, Milarapa, when he was a boy, had uh, his mother had been cheated by her relatives of her inheritance, and she was very vindictive and wanted him to gain vengeance, and he learned from a black magician how to hurt them, and he hurt them badly. And then he realized that he'd have to pay for this great sin, and he determined to try to get out of that sin of all that bad karma in one lifetime. And he went to Guru Marpa, his name was, and Guru Marpa, he had his books on the, on the shelf there, his black magic books and his spiritual books, and Guru Marpa made him take away those black magic books and throw them away. They emanated a vibration. The books you read emanate a vibration. When I was in college, my professor asked us to write a, our criterion of greatness in literature. And I wrote a book, uh, an essay that did not get me a passing grade, but I knew I was right. I said that I see around great works like Homer, I see a white light. And the light around a book determines how great it is. Most books don't have a light. And that was what Master meant with that book. It is a holy book. Holding it in your hands is a blessing. And reading it, there is a power that comes through those pages. I think that's what accounts for its huge success.